play hero a classic one definitely not so i i really like what spirit have i mean three and they sniper have. if you go for a medusa sniper goes core if you uh go for something else it, it becomes a problem and puppy well he's in trouble he's as well yeah. and gone man dude this this scatter shots of shaplow satanic gets to keep farming mid lane the supports have now joined in with Laurel. They want to try and bring down Sanity on this Pangalier. They know that the Rolling Thunder is down. They saw it committed in the bottom lane. But they still don't have enough to fully kill him off. Laurel diving in. Looking for more. Blood Grenade will be there. Even Satanic joining in and committing. From Malik and Miposhka. They see Sanity now. Miposhka goes Bottom. in. Sets things up with the overgrowth. The boat crashes through as well. And Sanctity. The first casualty of this fight. The Dark Willow doing her best to Bonus. escape with the Shadow Realm. But it's not going to help. They pick up the... Certainly is the case. Now all the net worth is in favor of Team Spirit down bottom. Boom. Definitely gonna end up dead. They jump on top of him. The terrorize is quite nice. Landing on the three, but it will not matter. He is already dead. And this tier one tower. They've been protecting it for so damn long. Now we have been beating their heads on this lane. But unable to find any progression on the side of the map. Poppy? He's baiting, but will he survive long enough? That's the question. He does have the song. Nice. He sets it up. Unfortunately, Zyax already committed the Terrorize, but they do have Bedlam if they want to use it. Yuragi is here. Here comes the Pangular as well. Bedlam out onto oh. Laurel. Laurel dies. Brought down by Zyax and the Swashbuckle into the Rolling Thunder. Will be coming in onto this Luna. They even popped a Stampede, but Satanic, he dodges the stuns from the Pango. Won't be able to keep that up forever. And at some point, they will find him, they will surround him, and they will they kill him is the question because the Lucent Beam brings down the Pangalier. Luna does eventually die. But so far, it's a very heavy commitment. What more can they get? Satanic would have loved to be here to contribute more damage, but now he cannot. Sniper, also in danger. Waveform forward from Yuragi. He gets himself a double. Now he picks up the tower at now, last. Malik, he gets found in the river here. Reel in onto the high ground. They've got him surrounding him with all of these heroes. The stuns the are out. But the question is, can they have enough damage to actually kill him? This punker is so tanky. He's still alive right now. And now the Rolling Thunder is finished. They might have to leave. Coco Rum being applied through the ghost ship. And here goes Satanic coming in with the Eclipse. Looking to bring down some of these targets. They Nobody have a can. stampede. And they drag them all the heroes out. And now all of a sudden Satanic isolated on the high ground. Terrorize to send him back. And the right clicks from Yuragi bring him down. And the chase is on now from the rest of Navi. X marks the spot from Yuragi. He stole the Kunkas form. Poppy. Also gets the song in, Boomstar. setting up for Boom for a three hero Hope Storm. He's gonna focus instead just on Jalal. They want the Storm Spirit, but they're not gonna what get else? him! Malik read the play, threw the torrents out, and they didn't stun the Kunker. So somehow none of them actually end up dead. The tier one tower does fall, and they're still chasing for Malik. Four star from the sniper pushes him away, but they drag him in with the ensnare, and finally. You see the Luna. Thinking about making a play here onto some of these heroes. They're going onto the Luna. Rolling Thunder connects onto her. And here comes Yuragi. Morphling wants to right click damage out. Forcing her to pop BKB and run the hell away. In the meantime, Lol on the back edge of the fight. Looking towards Poppy. Wants to kill the Nazaga Siren. He does Got do him. so. Even through the song, the BKB provides the protection. Team Spirit have a numerical advantage. But no they expended all of the mana on the Storm to do that. So they can't really keep this fight going. And now look, Rue. He's on the high ground, gets chased in by the Morphling. He uses the Kanda and the stolen Lucid Beam to get out the damage and kill off the Sniper. It's a one-for-one one trade at the moment. It's hard to escape. Let's see what they can do here. Miposhka surrounded by Sanctity and boom. Killed off by Yuragi. That's a Morphling with a double. Okay. Miposhka does see Yuragi. Rolling Thunder comes in from Sanctity. Reaching towards the back end of the fight. Hasn't stunned up anybody just yet as Yuragi throwing in the right click damage onto Satanic. A lot of these are being missed, however, as Boom now finally bringing in the Blink Dagger. They're going on the Kunka. Kunka is still alive as Laurel now coming in with his BKB active. Satanic throws out the Eclipse as well and they kill off Puppy. He's the first one taken from the fight. But the BKB of the Luna, it's expiring. It's finished now. At the same time, Yuragi, nice he dodge. gets killed. A nice dodge of the Terrorize using the Mantis now. That allows this Luna to keep dishing out the damage. Sniper blinking away, they kill off Centaur. Next to four will be Sanctity. And Yuragi and can he stand back. against the whole world. Storm is returning to the fray, ensuring that they have the disabled. Yeah, tower falling. Look at these slaves bouncing. Almost just straight up kills the Dark Willow. Boom. 
jumping in with the Shiva's God. They do find the spawn onto Satanic. The Terrorize now is there, but they have some of these four stars to get him away. Reel in from Poppy, ensuring that he stays close by. He pops at Satanic now with the Eclipse, regaining all of this lost HP. And now he needs to leave though, because Yuragi is coming. Yuragi is mad. And Yuragi will help to get the kill. Sanctity. Credited with that one, ending the mega kill. Parasma out onto the Storm Spirit. So Lao also feeling like he can dish out the right big damage. And guess who they fight first? It is the Luna. This is the worst case scenario. Can they kill her Both before coming. she gets off the Satanic? No, they cannot. The Coco Ram with the boat allows her to get off the Satanic. They instantly turn towards these heroes. They decimate them in this fight. This Luna is just too strong. Like if they had that MKB available on the Morphling, he would have been dead right now. But they do not. Now all of a sudden, here they are, looking to take down this bottom lane of Rax. Tier 3 tower, close to falling, Zyax. Woo! Shot. Uh, that was painful. And they had to commit the song just to say Zyax. So now we don't have song for another 130 seconds. How do we defend without it? Rolling it. What Is it safer to just go for Roche now? I think so, right? Because it is going to oh! be a nighttime Roche. It's... Did you see how it happened to Puppy? One Lucent Beam brought him down to 10% HP. Oh my goodness. They actually may be going on to this Luna, but she has Satanic and the BKB. Satanic, though, has been utilized. She hasn't been able to get the right clicks out. And now here she turns around with the BKB active. Can they bring down Boom? Raggy is there as well. Stole the Luna form, but not feeling strong enough or confident enough now to chase him onto her. But you got caught in a bramble. She doesn't have any of her big items. Now they catch her and they kill her. Storm Spirit caught inside the ensnare. We do have access to this. And as the BKB ends, he's held in position. Trying to get himself out the uh, mid lane. We have a kill onto the sniper. Yuragi waveformed in for the double. Looking towards getting this Kunkka as well. He's been trapped in by the ensnare of Puppy. He's so tanking tanky. all of this damage. He's gonna eventually end up dead though. As the Morphling finds the Adapter Strike, a triple and catch him as he's making his way towards his team. Beautiful. They find him, they see him, Sanctity. Ninja does he blink away? No, he does not. They should be able to bring him down here. He does get off the roll, but it will not matter. He dies nonetheless. 80 seconds with buyback available. Hubby triggers the song. It Beautiful. catches the Storm Spirit. Will they be able to get the surround play here? The rest of the gang on Team Spirit also caught in position. Lol does not have access to his BKB anymore. Do they have the damage? The Luna coming in though, providing it's assistance. Fine. Just rationing them down. They do eventually get the kill out the Storm, but hashtag worth for them. Morphling coming back on life number two. There's no more BKB available on the Luna. She does still have Satanic though. She's in the river all by her lonesome. She gets stunned up by Boo. They go back onto her. He's she is dead. In the grave, forced into buying back. Kunka now getting surrounded himself as well, and he gets killed off. Lol with his there buyback. Are a couple of small things. Okay, mid lane. Wow, Yuragi! You were mentioning it, the Aghanim Scepter being put onto the Storm Spirit. It almost kills the Morphling. If they had a little bit more, that would be a dead morph. That's why Puppy had to pop the song. And Puppy might get punished for this one. Both crashes in onto him, but Sanctity creating space, bringing it onto the back line, getting the roll out onto the Luna. She's terrorized right now. She needs to get the hell out of here. Yuragi on top of the Luna. She has BKB in three seconds, but she turns with the Satanic. Way too much damage. Yuragi ends up going down. Team Spirit, they baited them in. Now they want to punish them. How much further can they go? Luna. She pops in, BKB now at the ready, but no, she needs to leave. Yuragi trouble. came in on the other side. Can they have the damage? Yes, they do. Two minutes in the grave, no buyback. They also catch the sniper for additional yeah, GG interest. call in the next few seconds. Team Spirit and them, Lar? No, 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 Bramble Maze. No There's buyback? no buyback on the storm either. All right, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, now that's, that's it. it. But Spirit, what they're not recognizing in this game, that they need the Satanic and their BKBs more then the enemies need their song. And the second that you don't have them is when Navi can just commit like Madman. So now, uh, because of that, because of doing that twice in the two decisive fights, you've lost this game. Nikoshka <sighs> buys back, but what really can you accomplish here? All of their damage, most of it, like you mentioned, on the Luna, the rest of it on the Storm Spirit. The remaining heroes don't really do all that much. Kunka doing his best to try and delay proceedings. Miposhka throwing in the living armors, but it won't really matter. They are focused completely on the objective. They're going for this ancient. Yuragi even pops the BKB to ensure this outcome. And Miposhka has seen enough. GG, well played, is called. 
A crazy topsy-turvy game ends with Navi 